a lovely surprise for you all. Thank goodness. I checked just to double check how close Tundi was to that large dip that I mentioned earlier, the one where we just, no matter how hard we try, don't have signal. But the good news is she's far enough outside of that dip that we can actually bring you these beautiful images of a Tundi who could not look... Oh, <laughs> twitch as I said that. Who could not look more spread-eagled if she tried spread across the branches of this apple leaf, or at least this one branch of the apple leaf. What a perfect branch. I cannot think of a more appropriate looking leopard branch for her to be sitting in. It is just so comfortable. So for our new viewers who perhaps started watching today, you saw Karula and Hosanna and Shungile this morning on the Sunrise Safari. You also saw Shadow and her brand new little cubs that Brent was talking about earlier. This is the third member of that sort of particular triangle, if I want to call it, if I can call it that. It is Shadow's sister Tandi and Karula's daughter. So they're the same, they're from the same litter, Shadow and Tandi. They were litter mates. They are now 10 years old. And this, yeah, 10 years old, and are they basically share adjacent territories to each other. So Shadow is on one side of Karula, Karula's territory, and Tundi is on the other. And Tundi is a leopard that we actually don't get to see all that often. Fortunately, the chances of seeing her have increased now that we've expanded a little in terms of where we can drive to include a little portion of her territory, which is Chitwa. She also somewhere has a charming little cub, who I think must be about five months old now, unless I'm mistaken. Uh, you all know what I'm like with the with a sense of time and the passage of time, but I think it must be he must be about five months old now. I don't know where he is. I don't know if he is with her, but I can tell you that I'm excited because this is one of my absolute favorite leopards to have a chance to see. I'll just bear with me one sec. I just want to chat to Mike very quickly. Now you keep looking at Tunny and I'll chat to Mike. How's it? Never mind. I, I won't do that. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> The reason he is rushing off is because he's on his way to my next surprise. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're not jumping just yet. So Tundi, the, the lovely Tundi that's on the back of my vehicle. Sorry, that sun is so bright. I just look straight into it. The lovely Tundi that's on the back of my vehicle has now seen seven different leopards, including two brand new cubs seen for the very first time on our live safaris. It's not a bad way to spend a day, huh? Definitely not. So there we go, number seven, gorgeous Tundi, who at the moment is doing a very good job of hiding her face from us. I don't know why she chose to settle there. I mean, I know it's nice to lie in trees, and it does on hot days like today. You'll often find leopards spread eagled across a branch, just because it gives them a bit of extra shade and also gets them away from the ticks and provides a little bit more in the way of a breeze to help to cool them down. But she's managed to put herself right in the sun which seems like a silly spot to be in. So I'm not sure where her little boy is. I haven't seen him in about a month, and I'm still dying to have a proper sighting with him, actually spend time with him, because really, when compared to Karula's cubs, we don't know much about him at all. We just had to make do with pictures from other people who've had a chance to see them. So I always get very, very excited when I hear Tandy called in, and I always gen, gen, generally go racing off.